Hey Best Fiends fans, my name is Megan and I am from the YouTube channel Insomniac Stream. Today I'm going to show you how to bring Terry to life with face paint and eyeshadow and make it look like he is appearing off your skin. What you will need for this is a light eye pencil, cream blue shadow, water activated face paints, some eyeshadows for definition, and of course a variety of brushes. And first thing I did jumping into this was sketch out a base for where Terry's body will be so I know where to lay down the colors. Easiest to start with his two eyes and the mouth and teeth right underneath, and then just make the little circle for his body and little sketches for where his legs sit. This step is optional, but I found it easiest to lay down a light blue layer with a cream eyeshadow first, and then when I had an idea of color placement, I followed that with a blue face paint on a detail brush. This color is the main one for Terry's body, so using the brush and adding little flicks, it was a lot easier to add the little hairy tendrils that come off the side of his body. They will become better defined later, so just focus on getting the little shapes of them laid out here. Since I wanted a light source to look like it was shining on him, I added a bit of green to the right side of his body, just further filling in his legs and hair. If you were to skip this step, you would just fill everything in with the blue. Then, to fill in his eyes, I just took a yellow face paint and got them to the size and shape that I wanted. And when that had fully dried down, I went over it with an orange eyeshadow to add some depth to the eyeballs. And then because there's a little bit of a light reflect on his eyes, I just took a bit of white on my finger and dabbed it on both left sides of the eyes. To add the stripes Terry has along his body, I took some blue eyeshadows on an angled brush and pressed them along his legs to the tops and bottoms. Then to get the sharper stripes on his body, I just pulled the color down towards his eyes, tapering it into a point. For Terry's oversized teeth, I just filled them in with white face paint. You may need to do a few layers of this to make them fully opaque, and using a smaller brush helps get the edges a little bit sharper. To define the tops of the eyes, as well as add in the little irises, I just used a black face paint on a very small detail brush. Both of his pupils are pretty close together, so I just drew them really close to where the two eyes meet. And then I used the same brush with the same black to start creating his eyebrows. Terry's eyebrows are super bushy, so I used the same method I used along his body, letting the brush do a lot of the work by just flicking outwards and filling in the gaps to create the bushy little brows. Then of course, to properly define all of Terry's features, it helps to outline him in black. I took the same black face paint and a detail brush and went around all of the shapes already built up in blue. This step really helps for the legs where they overlap each other, making the little hairs on his body stand out a lot more and the different shapes appear in front of each other. And then following the black, I find it really helps to take the white and highlight all of the edges. Again, a totally optional step, but I find it just adds a little bit more definition and dimension to Terry's body. And finally, to make it look like Terry is sitting up off the skin, I took some brown and black eyeshadow and added it underneath his body, extending off of the legs. I made them all aim towards the left side as if a light was shining on him from the right. And then that is it for this Spider Terry arm paints. If you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel. And if you're interested in more makeup paints, feel free to check me out on the YouTube channel Insomniac Stream. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please comment down below to let us know what you want to see brought to life. But that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.